So, Barbara, before I talk about a specific state, I think it's important to kind of lay out our concept here because you've not heard this, and we're going to talk about this a lot probably in the next couple of weeks. First of all, the Corps of Engineers obviously works for DOD and anything we need to do there, but we also here are actually representing FEMA under direct mission assignments that states send to FEMA and then send, send back down to me for taskers. This is an unbelievably complicated problem, and there's no way we're going to be able to do this with a complicated solution. We need something super simple. So our concept here is a standard design. This is the approach design it's already been through HHS briefed the members of the White House and through FEMA what we want to do is we want to go into existing facilities primarily places that are out there and I'm mainly going to talk and make it simple hotels college dormitories and perhaps large spaces so I'll give you an example of a small room and a large room what we need to do is we need to go in there. these hotels are empty the people don't have jobs we would go in and cut a contract to be able to have the con the, um, the state set up a lease with that particular facility Facility, and then we would then take the building over in a period of exceptionally short amount of days and we would go in and turn this into an ICU like facility so there's really four different phases the state has to nominate the facilities in a prioritized order and I'll talk about Governor Cuomo in a minute number two is the Corps of Engineers has to come in and to be able to modify that facility and we can go into more details and other other country, uh, questions but it goes back to be able to change the pressure in certain hotel rooms to be able to have a negative pressure in a hotel room. The third thing is then you've got to be able to put the supplies in that. And FEMA working with HHS has come up with a list that every single hotel room would get the same amount of supplies. It would just go in and all right be there. And then the fourth step is to be able to staff it. This has to be a state job. The state has to put the people in there. You've got to clean it and train it. And therefore, just think you've all been in hotels. Think of the second floor of a standard hotel. The rooms would be like, an, like a hotel room. And then we would build nurses stations in the hall we would have all of the equipment uh, wireless going into the nurse station so you could monitor how, to, how those going to work. Now, let me correlate this back to um, New York. We want to use New York as this standard setter. And when I met with uh, Governor Cuomo, uh, he said right up front, what can I do? And I said, the biggest thing you need to do is start identifying facilities. And he said, how fast do you need them? I said, I need one tonight. I need three by tomorrow night. So we actually got uh, turned on by the governor. We got money from FEMA to go into buildings on Tuesday night. We did the Javits Center yesterday and we were into some of the SUNY schools yesterday. Today my engineers were walking through 10 other buildings, five of those are hotel-like capabilities and five of those are open spaces to be able to continue to be able to figure out what does right look like and then we give this design to a contractor and then he site adapts that design. If it's a hotel with four floors they change a little bit different. If it's got central air we change but the bottom line is we've got to do something very very quick. Most of the governors are saying that their peak is somewhere around the middle of April. So this is not take all the time in the world to do it. This is what is just barely the most important things we have to do and to be able to come up with a good enough solution. And I'll leave it there and we can talk later in more detail. Very briefly, do you have the money you need to do this? Has right now, money is not a problem at all. FEMA has given us the capability and, and uh, Secretary talked about the 13 other states. That's why we're there. We're asking those governors tonight, what are your priorities? Uh, I'm in 50 states, my guys are. We can go into other states right now and continue to be these same type assessments as we need to. 